Welcome back to the channel, all my penny stock investors, guys. We do have a lot to cover in today's video, including two penny stocks that are up massively today that still could have more room to run. But nevertheless, a large focus of today's video is going to be on AMC Entertainment. Guys, I got a ton of requests, a ton of comments on my last video that you guys wanted to see another more in-depth video on what is going on with AMC Entertainment and ultimately what can we expect. Now, the more and more I dug into this, I found something very important and that's could there possibly be a forced share count or a forced reshare count coming up here very, very soon, which could possibly initiate a short squeeze? Well, that is what we're going to be talking about in today's video, guys. So I'm going to go in depth. What can we expect coming up with AMC Entertainment tomorrow and into Monday and how this could ultimately lead to a forced share count? I think you guys are definitely going to like what I have for you in today's video. Now, also make sure and stay tuned until the end of today's video because we were expecting some some massive stuff to happen with this GCT IPO that just didn't happen and there's a very important reason why and also I'm going to answer the question if there could still be more potential with this IPO make sure and stay tuned like I said guys I think you are definitely going to like what I have for you in today's video nevertheless I do want to hit on two penny stocks before this because they are they are absolutely exploding and I still think they have more potential ahead of them so as we can see you're getting into the first penny stock this is ticker symbol G EGI. As we can see, this stock is up 25% today, but over the last five days, it is up over 100% gains. Now, shout out to everyone that has been banking on this stock because we have been hitting on this thing nonstop here on YouTube, but also in the Discord. Scrolling down here, as we can see, we can see we've been talking about this since 6 17 2022, where we rode this thing up about 54% on some very big news. First entry was at about about 0 0.0017 scrolling up you can see it was on our watch list almost every single day we were playing this and then we ultimately let it down and dip and as we can see DTK one of our analysts here in the discord put in here who is in GEGI and wants to average down or anyone who wants a good entry point this is a perfect spot right here at 0 0.0017 now we can see right now this stock is sitting at almost 0 0.00 uh, Eight zero, which leaves about a 400% gain for this stock, which is obviously absolutely massive from these 1-7 levels. So shout out to everyone that has been a part of GEGI. This has been a massive win, and it still does not look like it's slowing down yet. Guys, we do this stuff every single day in the Discord, as well as live trade every single morning from about 9 a.m. till about 11 a.m., where we share our charts and live trade with you guys. We also have a live penny stock alerts giving you buy and sell alerts for penny stocks as well as as well as live option alerts giving you guys buy and sell alerts for option trades people make a ton of money in this discord as you can see one member sixteen hundred dollars here on axxa this morning it is absolutely massive if you guys want to join the private discord community where you have access to three full-time trading analysts daily buy and sell alerts classes four times per month for beginners all the way to experts and a family of like-minded investors plus right now get two free ebooks on me on trading options and also trading penny stocks then i highly suggest you click that link in the description below and come join right now we are only offering yearly plans or lifetime plans why because i want to teach you guys how to fish and i cannot do that in one month it is going to take me six to twelve months to ultimately teach you guys how to navigate and trade in this market so we only want investors who are going to give us at least one year of commitment to ultimately become a better trader those are the type of investors we want inside of our discord so highly suggest click that link in the description below or we even give you guys a coupon on the screen right now but anyways guys ashley is 100 right here on ticker symbol gegi and a lot of these penny stock plays that is that patience pays and it did for gegi obviously don't get too greedy consider taking profits as it is up massively now another win on the day has been ticker symbol axxa we've been talking about 
this one a lot as well. Some of our analysts have mentioned it in the Discord over the last couple of days. And we can see it had a beautiful about 50% pop today on its highs. About some very, very good earnings. They reported revenue and profits for this quarter. So as we can see here, they reported revenue of 11.7 million and profits of 3.3 million, which were both big increases from where they were just in the previous quarter. Now, taking a look at their current market cap here, it is still only at about 9 million. Now, this hasn't updated just yet, but nevertheless, just looking at a simple price to sales ratio, this stock is still heavily undervalued, which means it could still have a lot more room to run with more good news and more good earnings ahead. But anyways, guys, those are the two penny stocks that are making some big moves in the market. Shout out to all of our investors who were able to capitalize on them, guys. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel with those bell notifications turned on so you never miss important videos so you can catch all of these bangers. But nevertheless, let's get into AMC Entertainment here because there is a lot to uncover on what is going to happen, what is expected, is there going to be dilution, and ultimately how there can be a forced share count, guys. So let's talk about it here. So for one, if you guys do not know, after hours on Friday, AMC is going to be changing just slightly. Okay, we're all going to be issued one for one an ape dividend. AMC is, is basically just issuing a preferred equity dividend, right? So essentially what's going to happen is you are going to get one for one shares. If you have 100 AMC shares, you are going to ultimately be given 100 ape shares, right? But what is ultimately going to happen or expected to happen, it who knows how this will ultimately play out, is the share price is going to be cut in half. So if AMC share price right now is $20 per share, you're going to have $10 in AMC, 100 shares, and $10 in APE, 100 shares. Essentially canceling each other out and making you have the same dollar amount, just more shares in two different holdings, right? So yes, those of you thinking, my knowledgeable investors, stock split. Ultimately, yes, this is just a... Uh crazy fancy advanced way to issue a stock split right ultimately that is what ha what is happening less or more shares lower dollar amount each share ultimately the same exact number but then what is going to happen down the road is we're going to be asked do we are we okay you know investors are we okay with converting these ape shares back into amc shares more than likely that'll go through and guess what's ultimately going to happen your 100 shares of amc are just going to turn into 200 shares of amc eventually just at half the price, whatever that may be, literally being an AMC stock split, right? So that is pretty much what is happening right now is we are going to see a stock split with AMC Entertainment. Now, what does this mean though? Is this bullish? Is this good? Well, taking a look, there's many different opinions, right? Some people are very, very bullish on this thinking, no dilution, tax free as a stock dividend, great way for raising capital, potential currency to pay down debt, voting rights and convertibility, and arguably the most important part, no options chain, which means... Uh, there's not an easy way to manipulate this stock anymore, right? Allegedly. So that is ultimately what we see on the surface here. But I can tell you one thing also. A lot of people are scared of dilution. So we can see that, and I pretty much agree with this Reddit post right here, right? There seems to be two ways of looking at this, right? One, it's going to be positive. The dividend distributed is just, as another ticker, will allegedly force a recount, cause shorts to close, gamma ripping, gamma squeeze into ripping into Moas, ain't Adam Aaron is a complete genius, checkmate, we all win, right? Hopefully that happens, but ultimately there's a negative, negative side to this, right? The dividend share are allegedly going to be delusionary, right? Dilution is going to occur, and Adam Aaron is going to be the biggest con man in history and taking advantage of all the dumb loyal apes now one thing's for sure is these immediate shares are not going to cause dilution right it is not going to cause dilution right immediately but as we can see all over twitter here adam aaron has been non-stop talking about dilution and pretty much warming investors up right so although that there isn't going to be dilution right away could there be in the future yes and you can see this tweet right here blindly fear dilution this is from adam aaron by the way you miss crucial facts in january 21 amc issued shares amc's price soared you know, and then again, May, June 21, more AMC shares. Again, stock soared. And again, 
stock soared, right? Basically saying that every t or, or every time dilution occurred, AMC stock price actually soared when in reality, most of us can look at it another way and say, no, you just diluted every time the stock went up, right? So that is all, you know, glass half full, glass half empty, whichever way you ultimately want to look at it. Nevertheless, he's kind of warming us up to possible dilution, but the good part is, is that might not come until another big AMC run up. But, you know, we're going off on a tangent here, but what is the ultimate goal of this, right? Well, you know, we're not quite sure yet, and we're ultimately not quite sure how this is going to play out. Nevertheless, are stock splits in general good? Because like I mentioned, that's pretty much exactly what this is. Are stock splits good? Generally speaking, yes. I mean, stock splits have done great things to stocks like Tesla, right? Because ultimately, they're taking a large share price, taking that share price down per share and just giving investors more share, but it makes that stock more easily easily accessible to smaller investors with not a large amount of capital, making it easier to buy and people want to ultimately buy more. It's a psychological thing almost, and usually it makes stocks rally. So could Adam Aaron's plan be here? Create this stock split, hopefully have a run up in AMC's uh, share price and then create dilution. I'm not sure. And is that dilution bad? Not necessarily in the long run, like he says multiple times, but on the surface, it could be bad for investors, right? But ultimately, we're not sure what's going to happen here in the long run. What we do know, though, is what's happening, and that is that on Friday, after hours, uh, our we're going to get a one for one dividend here, essentially, and we're going to have one for one ape shares with AMC shares, but the price is going to be cut in half and it's going to equal out to the same number ultimately, but half of our money is going to be into AMC and half it's going to be into ape. That's what we do know is going to happen, right? And then ultimately, more than likely, those shares are going to go back into AMC and we're just going to have double the AMC shares, but at half the price right? That is ultimately what we're looking at here with AMC Entertainment. But what is the most important part here? And how could this possibly force a share count to happen? Let's take a look here. This is very important. And I found something nice to break this down for you guys here so I don't have to just go off on a win here. So let's read it here because it's a pretty good Reddit post. Share count by force, ape, puts brokers and SEC in a very difficult position. Between August 15th and 19th, it looks like all brokers such as Fidelity and others are obligated to account for all AMC shares. It is only a matter of time when this gets reported and it's time to distribute the 517 million or so shares of ape on the 19th they will realize that there's not enough ape to distribute and to the shareholders. The brokers will have no choice but to report this to the SEC. SEC this time will have no choice but to step in and settle this, right? Hedgy will be exposed. The SEC will not be able to help the shorts and will force all the shorts to cover these short positions, right? This is how I imagine things will unfold during the time. Who knows how high the price of AMC can reach. So squeeze potential here huge massive potential here right so ultimately we're not going to know for a few days after this distributed but monday tuesday wednesday thursday right ultimately if not everyone is getting these ape shares guess what there's not enough uh, ape to go around, which means synthetic shares were issued. People have synthetic shares, meaning all this is going to unfold. SEC may step in. Shorts may need to cover all of these positions, which is ultimately going to force the AMC squeeze to happen. Will this happen? We don't ultimately know, but what we do know is going to happen is we're going to get these shares, and if not everyone gets these ape shares, big things are going to unfold. So guys, if you want to stay tuned for all this information, all the ape talk, as well as trade penny stocks with us and trade options with us every single day, the week make sure you are in that discord so i can get all of this information to you first guys link is in the description below but to wrap things up here the gtc ipo why didn't this go as planned this was supposed to be a massive ipo we saw megl rocket we saw frza rocket we saw hkd rocket ultimately what happened they the dd changed everything changed right ultimately they moved up it from Friday to Thursday. So now the IPO is going off on Thursday. Everyone was r rushed. It, it closed early, right? You, you know, the as far as uh, being able to buy these shares on Weebo, it closed early. Then we wake up today. We're waiting for this thing to open. It opens and you can't trade on Weebo. You can't buy, you can't sell, you still can't. Who knows when you're going to be able to, which is where the majority of retails are buying, which is where a lot of these shares were held because that's where you could get this IPO pretty early on Weebo. And all of a sudden, nothing coming from Weeble. That is where all of our volume was, right? So the whole thing, it was messed up. It, it all started the changing it from Friday to Thursday, and it just continued on from there. But 
Does this still have potential? Well, I guess we'll have to see what happens when the Weibo shareholders are able to actually share their, you know, open their shares, which by the way, this looks very similar to a Robinhood situation here. Not too happy with Weibo, but nevertheless, we'll have to see if they're going to buy, if they're going to sell, where all this volume comes from, right? But ultimately, does it still have potential down the road? I mean, MEGL had a big second wind over 100% run. FRZA had a second wind. HKD had a 21,000% second wind. So is there still potential? Yes. If you got these shares at IPO, you are still up slightly. We're up about a dollar. But nevertheless, that is ultimately what happened here. The DD changed and it just did not work out. I think a lot of it was related to Weeble, but who knows? Nevertheless, like we like we talk about on this channel, it's all about risk versus reward, and it is still a good risk versus reward, right? If you got those shares at IPO, you're still doing all right. But nevertheless, guys, we can talk more about that in the Discord or in another video. Leave me a comment down below, but that is all I got for you guys in today's video. Come join us in that Discord, and let's trade live at tomorrow morning. Go over some of the best options and penny stocks in the entire market, and you guys can ask me any questions that you want. Link is in the description below to the discord that is all i got for you guys in today's video and as always i will see you in the next one